Hi, today's recipe is coming to you from the famous southern Portugal beach area, the Algarve, right across the Mediterranean from North Africa. And this recipe is called Shadim. And it's believed that name comes from Arabic origins when they used corn for the same purpose. It's basically a porridge. It wasn't until about the 1500s that corn started to become popular in Europe because the Spanish brought it over in the late 1400s. But in Mexico, where it originates from, they believe corn has been around for 9,000 years, but only a few hundred years in Portugal and Northern America. There's many variations to this dish. Being from the Algarve, it's very common to have seafood like clams, mussels, shrimp. Also, you know from pork a Teju that Portuguese like to mix pork and clams together sometimes. So this dish often has uncured bacon, or you could use um, pork belly, whichever is available at your grocery store. I'm also going to put some linguisa. You could also put chorizo in there. And I have my clam. I rinsed them off and they had a lot of sand. And then I let them soak overnight. You don't need to let them soak overnight, but I wasn't going to do this until today. But it's a good idea to let the clam soak in cold water, even with a pinch of salt, for at least 20 minutes. Because the clams are alive and they live in the sand on the bottom of the ocean, filtering the sand and little nutrients in there. And they spit out sand. So. Like after I, I rinsed it, it had sand, and this morning when I checked it again, it had a bunch more sand in there. So you want to at least do that for like 20 minutes to an hour, and you can do it overnight if you like. Like a lot of food around the world, there's a lot of variations to this. I'm not putting cilantro, but a lot of recipes will put cilantro. This is the art of cooking. Whatever you pick up from the store, if you don't have clams, have mussels, go for it, and we'll get started. So I will start off with a liberal amount of extra virgin Victor Portuguese olive oil. All right, I probably have about a quarter cup of olive oil in there. I am going to throw in our uncured bacon. The heat is turned up fairly high because we're going to be sauteing a lot of ingredients in this one pot. Now I'm going to add some red bell pepper just for color. I mean, it gives good flavor too, but I'm always thinking presentation because we eat with our eyes also. Now I will add one cup of onions, one cup of chopped onions. That's just like a yellow onion. To start off with, I'm going to add salt. Don't want to add more than that because you have bacon that might be a little salty. The linguise is going to add a lot of flavor. I have some fresh garlic that I chopped up. So this is probably the equivalent of four cloves of garlic. If you want to try another recipe famous to the Algarve area, check out my recipe for cataplana. Beautiful seafood dish. Okay, everything's bubbling up really nice in there. I'll add the linguisa. While this is cooking here, just need to let it cook for about three minutes before I add the clams. I have one cup of cornmeal. I'll add five cups of liquid. You can't just use plain water. You could use water with bouillon. You could use a fish stock and something like this would be appropriate. I have a chicken stock that I have left over in my refrigerator. So I have, I have about four cups of chicken stock and then I'm gonna add a cup of water. Now everything is in here. The bacon, the linguisa, the red bell peppers, the onion, the garlic. There's no clams yet. I'm gonna let this still cook for about another three minutes and then I'll add the clams. I love seafood and the worst thing you could do to seafood is overcook it. So I'll add the clams in in a little bit. Then I'm gonna remove the clams, make my polenta and add the whole mixture back in. The reason I do that is because I'm, I wanna cook my clams until I know they're done. You know, I don't want a bunch of polenta in there where I can't even see if the clams are opening up. So I'll cook them, I'll know they're done cooking when they open up. Then the cornmeal, it still takes like 15 minutes possibly up to 25 minutes, depending on the coarseness of your grounds, your ground corn. But I don't wanna overcook my clams, that's why I'm gonna take them out while that cornmeal is cooking for 10 minutes. Okay, now I will add in the clams. This is about two and a half pounds of clams. And these will usually take five to 10 minutes to open up. Except for the olive oil, I didn't put any liquid in here yet, but those clams are full of nice sea water that gives a delicious flavor. The onions sweat, some moisture comes out of like the bacon. So there's probably a good, about a cup of just delicious moilu or sauce in there. So what I'm gonna do is transfer this food into a bowl while I cook the cornmeal. And again, this is just so I don't overcook the clams. It's not the end of the world, like if you see some people just mixing it all together, but I just do not like overcooked seafood at all. Now I'll put in my four cups of stock. Remember the ratio I use is about five to one, but you can, depending on how thick you want, you always could add more liquid to it. So for now, I'm just gonna put four cups 
and since some moisture came out of the clams and everything, I'll wait to put the final cup. So you want to put in the cornmeal gradually and constantly stir. Okay, so I have my cornmeal measured out. And in the beginning, really stir it vigorously. So it's a good idea to start with the liquid at room temperature. That way it gives you time to stir the cornmeal before it clumps up. If you're interested in making my other recipe with cornmeal, check out my milu fritu from uh, Madeira Island. Once it starts to boil, you really want to turn down your heat to probably the lowest setting or else this stuff can make a mess. And that's the other thing, you want to use a big pot because this starts just bubbling up like lava. Don't forget to check out the website, justcookwithmichael.com. The recipes are much easier to print out on the website. So it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. You can see the consistency there. Some of it falls off the spoon, some of it sticks to it. And again, if, if you've made this recipe a few times, feel free to adjust the ratio of water to cornmeal to your preference. So, so far I have one cup of cornmeal, four cups of stock in there, but I'm probably also going to get about a cup of liquid from the seafood. Okay, since I put in the stock and turned on the fire, it's been about 20 minutes, probably about 15 minutes since it actually started to thicken up. This smells so good. And you could add other spices, fresh oregano, cilantro is very popular, a bay leaf in there. I am going to put in all the liquid. I'm going to reserve some of the clams and linguisa as garnish on top. And then you could kind of mix this all together, put it in a casserole, put a few clams, a few pieces of linguisa on top as garnish. add in some green onions for color. Also, I never put in that last cup of water. So my ratio was four to one, one part cornmeal, one cup of cornmeal, four cups of stock. But because there was probably at least a cup of liquid in there, I don't think I want it any thinner, but you do you. So this is a pretty simple dish where you could cook for, you know, four people or up to 20 people, same process. Thanks for joining me. Now go cook for somebody you love.